Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. Get that bell notification on too, so you don't miss out on the next episode of Brockton County, an Ontario themed city. And what the heck are we looking at right here? <laughs> and make sure to hit the like button too. The like button helps the channel a lot. Every single intro we get one of those strange, you know, vehicle mitosis. It's very interesting. Uh, it must just be because this... Um, uh, feature that I use here just to, for these cinematics. It must just kind of like go towards where there's lots of people or choose at random a citizen to follow and there's just lots of people on the edge of the map because uh, that's how the game kind of spawns people in. I don't know. It's a little silly. Um, you know what's not silly? That airport we built yesterday or uh, Monday. That was really cool. I really enjoyed that. Strathcona Airfield. Uh, very cool build. I was hoping to get a little bit more done, but um, you know, we'll just uh, do that in today's video. So we're gonna build out in Strathcona. We're gonna try to build. Hey, here we are. Uh, we're gonna try to build up uh, the neighborhood around here uh, with some residential, uh, just some you know, suburbs, and we'll build a hockey rink as well today. So let's hop out and look at uh, that airport. So unfortunately, we're gonna have these flashing symbols because I guess we're not technically in an airfield. Um, yeah. That's okay with me. Uh, so what did I do off camera? Well, I uh, added in a bunch of parking lots because I realized that uh, there was no parking lots in here and I thought it would fill in kind of the blank spaces pretty well. I added garbage as well. Um, and uh, you know, just some small detailing tweaks around here, like uh, some picnic tables for some of the workers. Um, I thought that would be nice over here as well. Yeah, so these parking lots uh, work pretty nicely to kind of fill in the space here. Um, and uh yeah so this is kind of like the the viewing platform that people have built to, to watch the planes fly in uh this is the suburb of strathcona uh which is the suburb of the downtown which is all the way over here um and this is kind of the rest stop the highway rest stop over here uh with some other commercial along the side as well so what's the plan for today well like i said we're going to be building uh, up some suburbs. I've already got some buses running through here so we can just kind of uh, pull them into the suburbs a little bit better. Uh, they kind of just run towards the train station down over here and then they filter through this new connection we have uh, which is uh, very good. I'm glad we decided to do this connection. Um, and yeah, where do I see kind of this town kind of going? Well, I think over in this side will be a bit more built up and especially over in here a little bit. Uh, run the lake. Otherwise, I see it a bit more very low density. I know, I know we're already going to be building low density, but very low density. Something kind of more like akin to this or over in cottage country over here. Um, you know, just a couple houses every every now and then. Uh, nothing crazy. So uh, Friday's episode, we'll be doing cottage country. Uh, we're going to push our nature reserve, which is going to be on these bluffs over here uh, to another time. Um, anyways, so let's hop out and let's look at the main feature of today's episode, which is going to be the hockey rink. So this is an asset that I've had downloaded for uh, a little while. Um, Indoor Arena. You know, it doesn't have to be a hockey rink, but this is a Canadian themed city, so why not? Why can't it be a hockey rink, you know? <laughs> so uh, I think we'll put it off of um, maybe not Howard Dixon Street right here, which should probably be called Strathcona. If I remember correctly, we'll correct that name later on. Uh, maybe we push it off of this um, uh, this road here, Birch Street, and it'll be close to the roundabout over here. Yeah, I think that works out probably the best. So let's grab a one-way road here, and uh, let's just create like a bit of like a, a drop-off location. Um, so I think the farthest I would want this. Uh, to be, I don't think we have our guidelines turned on. Uh, let's give it some space between the roundabout, and we'll connect in right here. So where do we want the, kind of the entrance? Well, why don't we just go right off of this one? Very nice. So let's plant down. You know, just very simple little entrance. I know, you know, a lot of people that play City Skylines create these kind of bump outs for uh, their builds, and I think it works out just a okay. So let's give it a little bit of space on the left, but more space on the right for a couple of reasons that we'll touch on uh, quite soon. But yeah, I think this is a, a good little arena. Well, it's not really little, but 
As you see, there's lots of entrances and exits on the back side, which we're going to need to kind of uh, look at. So, you know, I think this might actually be more of like an urban rink style. But I think this is going to bring a lot of land value out here, uh, which is, you know, really good. Uh, all right, so we're, we're going to need an access road along the back here. So why are we going to need an access road? Well, uh, you know, trucks are going to need to bring in supplies in real life. I don't know if they're going to really need it in in, uh, in this game mode uh, or in the, you know, the game. So we're just going to surround it with uh, an industrial road. Hmm. Maybe the best option we have is actually just go straight off of this. And maybe we actually make this um, a bit of a larger road. Yeah, why don't we just upgrade this one to uh, to that? Yeah, that works. And then what we'll do is we'll have uh, this be just a normal road. And we'll kind of touch on that further in a second. We could even connect it up into there in the future. But then we'll get the industry road uh, right here running right along the backside of this. And it doesn't really even have to be an industry road. Uh, to be honest, it could just be uh, a normal road. And we could just connect that right up into here. Give it a bit of space. Yeah, I mean, I think this works out. Um, a little, little interesting. But uh, yeah, let's give it some dedicated turning lanes right here just for for the sake so people dropping off their kids to ho at hockey or you know maybe there's a, a junior game going on over here they could drop their friends off their family they could go out and get the tickets and then we'll get some parking over here so right in this section I think I want to make this a bit more of like a, a plaza area and then we'll get uh, parking off of this road we'll bump it down into here and we'll get some services over on this side and we'll look at building up the suburb a little bit along the other side of this. I think it'll work out. Uh, over here, uh, I guess this can be a two-way street. Perhaps we make this one way, and what we'll do is we'll just extend this out, maybe even connecting it into here. Yeah, so if someone's coming in from this side then, uh, I guess they'll drop their friends off on the, the back entrance here, and then we'll make this part a one-way. So one-way, no parking. I don't know if we made that one no parking. Yep, we did. And there we go. Let's actually upgrade this last little bit to a three lane no parking. And I'm just going to go back to our normal roads and just preemptively we'll get a little bump out right here for a future connection into the suburb. Uh, so I think this will work out pretty nicely. Let's get those plazas in right here. I think that'd be really nice. I was thinking maybe the parking could go there, but I think we'll need a bit larger uh, parking. Uh, opportunities over on this side so um, let's go that's not where the plazas are this is where the plazas are <laughs> so we could go with one of these or maybe one paradox plaza that works out pretty nicely doesn't it so we'll do that and I think uh, we took the BOB mod and what we did is we removed all the trees and stuff from this so it's just a nice clean little area here very nice. Okay, so let's just take a quick little peek. Fill up this. Yep, the concrete's all through here. Very nice. Might as well get the water now. Although, there is no doubt in my mind that we're going to forget to do water again at some point in this episode. As we do in every episode of Cities by Steven. Alright. Um, you know what? I'm going to break my kind of rule here. We're just going to connect up Right like that, just to fill it in. Ignore the <laughs> the off uh, off angle water pipe. That's okay. All right, so just remove these trees because we're going to be building in here. All right, so that works out really nicely. Um, then let's uh, maybe let's look at um, getting some more things right in here. So I think right in here, I don't mind this being. I mean, we could get the parking off of here as well. That that wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. But uh, we definitely need a couple nodes in here. So we'll hit uh, Control N. Is it Control N? Is it Alt N? I don't know. I don't. I forget the code. Uh, but 
Oh, you know what? It tells me right here. It is control N. I guess I wasn't clicking it properly. Uh, so let's grab this one right here. We're going to just make this a crossing. I'm then going to grab that node with move it. And we're just going to pause the game really quickly. There we go. And we're just going to try to center this probably right in front of this light post. That's probably the center. So we'll get a nice little crosswalk there. We'll go into the network multi-tool really quickly because we can add a node pretty easily right here. And we'll do the same right there. And then we'll go back to the a node controller you know i probably could have done this all in the node controller but that's okay so um yeah that works maybe we have a couple of crossing points over here and uh yeah let's detail this up with a bit of a park how about that like a like a handmade park so we'll go with let's just go with the uh, hmm let's go with the zoo path because when building parks why not just use the best path in the game so that looks pretty good to me. Let's now change the tree because I'm not the biggest fan of the tree. Uh, that's a bit too big. Why don't we go with uh, the young linden? Maybe it's like a, a newer kind of thing that they've that they've done. So lined it right up with here. It's about the middle. It's not perfect, but I think it is acceptable. Uh, let's see how large these are. Yeah, it's a bit too big. Dog park. I was hoping that maybe one of those things could fit. Um, but uh, alas, they do not. So we'll just do it manually. So why don't we go back into the landscaping tools here. We'll grab one of these rocks. And I think these rocks uh, would go nicely right in here. So we'll grab this one right there. Whoops. We'll plop it a bit off centered like that. We'll grab one of these larger ones. And we'll just try to place it right in the middle there. Let's then put on all of this and we'll try to lower this into the ground a little bit. Ah, that's okay. And then we'll go back into uh, this tool here and then I'll just grab one of these. We'll turn prop and tree anarchy on and I'll just fill in around that rock there. And we'll go for one of these ones that's a bit more spacious. Just in right that in there like that. And then why don't we grab some of these chestnut trees and just throw them in right there. So that creates a bit of like a focal point. And then uh, why don't we get uh, a couple more of these trees and we'll just kind of add them in. So maybe these trees were here a little bit before. Yeah, I mean, this works. And why don't we get uh, this rock pattern over here? Right there and then we'll change up the rock pattern back to this one on this side why don't we just try and put two of these together to create a bit more of a unique pattern and there we go I think we don't I don't think we need to do much more than this but uh, definitely like to add in some vegetation around these rocks I think it really just kind of helps the look out a little bit so yeah, that looks really nice. Um, now let's look on the plaza again. And I think what I want to do is get, um, you know, I don't think much really needs to go on over here, but I do like the idea of, uh, you know, a couple food trucks or something like that. So I think the food trucks are in the park plaza. And yeah, there we go, food truck. And I like the idea of couple a couple vendors or something out over here um, yeah let's put this one over on this side and I believe there's a couple more vendors in this area yep We've got a grill I feel like this one's a bit more Yeah, there's like a side entrance right there. So why don't we place this right up against it like that. There we go. And we'll just go back to the food truck and I'll just get another one out over here or something like that. Uh, I know it's the same food truck, but I think we can look past that. Um, okay, so then let's get a couple of these flower pots or flower planters and we'll place them right kind of in the middle right here like so. I think that's all we really need. Uh, in that regard 
Uh, but I was thinking maybe we could go into the zoo area and grab one of these um, cafes and maybe it'll look a little uh, like uh, somewhat nice on this corner here. Not the biggest fan of the texture on the ground, but I just love the kind of idea of having like a little cafe on this corner here. Maybe it's a bit more all year round, whereas these, this food truck, for example, is only really here during uh, uh, during the summer months. Maybe it's just an ice cream truck. Yeah, it's nice. And then we'll go into the nature reserve. We're really mixing the assets here. Uh, and we'll grab this picnic table because I think this picnic, picnic table is a bit more, you know, classic. And I, I like that idea. And a couple of those. And then we'll switch up the picnic tables for this one. And we'll put one of these back in here. Maybe for the employees of that little cafe. And then we'll use the same one over here for this. And we'll get a couple... Uh, pegging tables over here, and then let's go back to this one for this guy. All right, so just a uh, you know a few assets here and there, and it really helps uh, spruce up the the build a little bit. And uh, yeah, I really like that. That turned out pretty nicely. So you know we we uh, we wasted we didn't waste it. We made a really nice hockey rink right here. <laughs> but it's been about 15 minutes in the episode, more 15, 16, 17 ish minutes. I never really know the exact time uh, for you all, but I'm assuming we're closer to the 17 minute mark. Um, but let's uh, now look at kind of how this whole area is gonna really play out, right? So we're gonna have a bit of a suburb through here, but we're gonna need a bit of a commercial district. I suppose the commercial district could be, I mean, we have the, it over here. So I really don't mind it just being like a pure residential neighborhood. But I still think if there were to be some uh, commercial buildings, it'd probably be closer to the hockey rink. Um, so right in here, for example, I don't really know what to do with this area because of what we got going on. So I think we should just make it uh, make it a park, you know? So we could use the large park here, but we could also use some sports assets. Like maybe because it's a hockey rink over on this side, maybe we can throw in like a couple of these maybe it can be a bit of like um, you know summer hockey so why don't we go with the BOB mod now that we have this and we can uh, just remove a bunch of the, the stuff through here so we'll grab the bushes and we'll just get rid of the bushes because the bushes are the only thing that really bug me about it um, so there we go that's perfect and then we'll go and grab that large park we can place that right there. And I can move it, I guess. I wonder how it would work if we connected it like that. Yeah, it doesn't like it. Hmm. Would this park be a little bit more appropriate? I think it might. But uh, you know what? Let's just check really quickly if we've used up all the plazas from uh, tier one. And we have, except for the industry one, because I've never actually unlocked it. Um, so let's go and grab this one, and we'll plop this down right here like that. And then we'll plop a second one down like that. And then if we just move it together, it should look like it's just one larger park, right? There we go. And then we can uh, attach on the dirt paths to this. And we'll just kind of do something like that so people can walk through. And we can also connect up with the paved paths. Like so. Uh, perhaps we should do that little trick that we know of. And what we'll do is we'll just plant it down. And we'll use move it. And we'll just connect it like that. So people will still walk over there. But it kind of eliminates the, the silliness of what's going on through here. Uh, right in this area... I suppose we can just probably make this a bit of an extension. So we'll just get this one to connect up. And we're going to look to pave in most of this little area through here. And one more dirt path connection to there. Just going to make sure that this actually connects back up. 
There we go. All right, so let's, I think we're in our proper brush. So we'll just plant in some of these and then we'll go into pavement. <laughs> Surface Painter, that's the name of this. Uh, forgot the name of it really quickly. All right, and then we'll just kind of plant it down. Fill in the space because it's a little messy, isn't it? And we'll look at using um, some of that vegetation again to kind of clean this up. So we'll go and grab a fence, just uh, any fence really, but I'll go with the metal fence. And we'll go from here, right to there. There we go. And then, oh, snapping. Don't want to snap. I think that's fine though. And we'll go right to there, and then one more. And why are we doing the fence? Well, I think the fence really helps kind of hide uh, some of the funkiness. So we'll try to get it as close as we can. Like that. Oops, okay. And then we'll go back to our vegetation, which is just this little thing. We'll go grab single right here. That's a bit too much. Let's go with this one. And let's place it kind of just over top of the fence line. The fence, uh, the reason why we did that is because it kind of just helps create that little bit of a barrier. And now we just gotta place a couple more throughout here to really fill it in. There we go, pretty cool. I guess this could be one of those plazas, I guess, right? Because we were just talking about using them. Um, we could plant, uh... ah, it's too big, okay. I suppose we could move the fence, but I think it's fine, I think it's fine. Or why don't we uh, put a basketball net in there? Or a basketball court. I think we've got a couple of them. Plant that down right there. Actually, you know what? I think we have a one that goes in the opposite direction. And I think that one would be a little bit better. Um, okay, if I can find it, I mean. Okay, well, you know what? We could just put that one right there. This one's a bit bigger. Okay, and then I'll just grab the fence and we'll just bring the fence uh, down over into here, like that. All right, that works. Cool little sports complex through here. Um, now let's look at kind of connecting up these rows a little bit better. So we have this little bump out right here. I suppose this one can come right through. Uh, now this one, I, I suppose should have connected up. Um, but it doesn't exactly line up, so why don't we create a bit of like a buffer here? Let's do this. Uh, hmm. So we're not gonna get a road that runs through this side. And we got everything going on over here. Maybe we don't even really need a road connection through here. Maybe what we do is we kind of just extend this bit of a sports complex we got going on. bring that out and why don't we uh yeah let's let's do that let's just plant down a couple more sports assets through here i think that's kind of fun create a bit of like a sports complex we've done a couple of these um throughout the series all right so let's get a soccer pitch <laughs> i suppose if i'm gonna say that word more like a footy pitch and we'll get this one over on this side. We've done a lot of baseball and diamonds, so um, yeah, let's get rid of those two. Actually, let's bring it out to about here. And then we'll connect these up. We haven't got the parking lots yet, so that's something that I gotta remember to do. And I suppose from this point here, we could connect up. I don't really mind that. And then we could also connect right up into here. That's not the worst, not the worst thing. And we could get some parking in here and then in here, but I wanna get uh, at least one baseball diamond in, in this area. So we'll do that. 
And then if we were to get a second. Now nah, let's just keep it at the one. Um, okay. Bring this one through. So we'll get some walking paths through here, but I definitely want to get parking. Uh, that is definitely a priority. So we could just go with um, with these parking lots that, that we have. That definitely works. Let's plant... Uh, hmm. If we run a road down into here... Uh, why don't we try just going back with uh, the old faithful, you know? And we'll run... Hmm. Just kind of thinking about it, actually. Run like a parking lot like that. Or maybe we did the parking lot road like that. And then we... Run a couple of larger connections. You know what? I kind of like the idea of just using the, uh, the ploppable ones. So we'll grab uh, just any old road and we'll run this one right down. Why don't we go with uh, an industry road? Let's go with a 1U one. Because so I think we cleaned it up so that there's nothing on it in our last build. Um, and then let's grab those parking lots. So here we are. 10 by 4. Is that the largest one I have? Yeah, it looks like it. Alright. So let's place this down. See how it how it's situated? Okay. And then let's just fuse them together. So, perfect. I'm going to grab them both together. The shift click, I'm going to copy it. And we'll see if we can just place it like that. And oh no, we're just a little, a little off here. But why don't I place it down and we'll see if we can make this work. I mean, this is quite the large parking lot, but I think, uh, I think it kind of works though. So let's grab them all here. Well, actually, first of all, let's grab the middle two. And, oh. We'll just pull it down. I mean, if we're kind of saying that maybe the hockey rink is a bit of a junior hockey stadium, maybe uh, it kind of works, you know? Set it all to the same height. Yes, yeah, so we're a bit off, so let's, I think we've grabbed them all. So let's uh, just pull it down a little bit onto this road. I don't think it looks too bad as long as we're off of this one here, which we're not. So let's grab this whole road. And we're just going to scooch it down instead. How does this line up? I think we can just get that to curve, and that's okay. Okay, and then we'll come back with Move It, grab all these parking lots, and then we'll just pull it back over a little bit. We could even scooch it down so that we get enough room for a fence. And I think that's going to be important. So let's grab that fence. And let's turn off our guidelines. And then we really got to get to the zoning in this area as well. Okay, we'll run a fence right down to here. Actually, I guess not. Uh, and then we'll run a fence from at least this point here. down. There we go. And then we'll grab some of these young linden trees, put them in a line. And we'll go from this point down like that. Perfect. And then we'll get our paving tool here. And we'll just fill in this side with some pavement. Alright, so we're just going to move the baseball diamond. And that's easy enough to do. Okay, let's go back to our parking lot tab here and we'll grab the one by ones and we're just going to place down 
a couple more of these and we'll just put these together like that I've been really liking these uh, parking lot assets here uh, then we can grab a one by four here and just uh, just place it down and then I can just do something like this it's not gonna be perfect there's a bush in one of them but I think uh, I think it'll line up a little bit a little nice that works fill up that concrete and then we'll just get a small little road uh, right in here why don't we go back with that industrial uh, road actually why don't we do like a path instead like a, just a concrete path I think that'll be good enough to kind of indicate that maybe you can drive up here to park um, okay so we need a bit more concrete through here bring the concrete right up to the diamond and then we'll get uh, how about a large tree right here a couple more Ooh, bit of an autosave all right yeah very cool I mean huge parking lot works for all the events here uh, now let's grab um, one of these park paths and we'll just run this one right down into here and then we'll get a fence as well for the soccer stadium and let's get some pavement fill in this little spot right here and then I suppose we're good on this side then nice all right well that works I suppose they're probably being some netting up but uh, yep that works with me it's gonna go right in here well I suppose we could go with another baseball diamond like we previously mentioned in this opposite corner I suppose that's okay and then why don't we just hop in to move it really quickly and I'll just grab these and just make sure I'm just grabbing those actually oh there we go I'll copy it and then I'll just turn it around and place it down whoops all right we'll just kind of scooch it over just like so and then we'll pave it in fantastic so looks like we can probably run a bit of a path through here we'll, we'll go with the dirt path and we'll go with uh, the free form and we'll just kind of do oh I thought I had dirt path selected there we go and we'll just sort of do a bit of a meandering path right through the middle of these trees here and then we'll connect up down over here as well very nice I think that works out pretty good very cool very cool and then uh, what we said we we're gonna get some commercial assets on here so why don't I just uh, turn off the zoning on this side and we can just get some commercial I'm gonna take uh, them off of the corners here because I feel like it gives it just a little bit more space and then we'll blend in the area with concrete we'll see what pops up all right so that was a pretty big <laughs> pretty big uh, you know park area uh, this area in here I'm a little I'm struggling to figure out what to do with it because you know it's so close to an airport the noise would be just very loud right um, but uh, I definitely want to I definitely think that a high school would do well in this area um, I don't mind even not even thinking about including anything uh, with this maybe it's like a sports focused high school as well so we can get that right there yeah that's good I'll blend in the concrete and then why don't we just get a bit of a road bump out and we'll go back with the same road and we'll get it to go to here and then we'll get some parking lots on on here uh, 
as well. That works to me, just it only really needs to be that long. Scooch that over, just like that. Bring that one forward actually a little bit farther. And that means we can bring this one closer. Put that right in the middle there. All right, and then um, we'll just get a nice path connection right down like that. And I always like just bringing a path across. Um, all right, so that works. It also allows us to kind of actually use the space for some trees instead. So why don't we just go with uh, this chestnut tree that we've been using like that. And then we'll go back to single single use right here and we'll throw in two more. And then uh, right in here, I suppose it can also just be some trees kind of lining uh, the high school. Um, perhaps this area should all just be concrete though, actually. Hopefully we can get it to blend in. No, we won't be able to. Okay, well, we can just do something like that. It's close enough. And then right in here. All right, so we got a nice high school in here. That, that works out fantastically. Uh, because this whole area is going to be a suburb. And have we even built that up yet? No, we haven't. We have not done that yet. Uh, but uh, what else do we need? Well, um, we definitely need an elementary school in here as well. Um, now, would this area be good for an elementary school? That, I don't think so. Uh, this could go well for like a bit of a bus stop area though. Because we have a bunch of buses coming in here. It could be good. We could run a school bus in here as well. We could run a lot of the Strathcona buses off of here then as well, like uh, some of the express buses. Um, that could be a good solution here. So why don't we, and it also would kind of look good for the space. So why don't we go into the bus tab here and we'll grab just like the simple bus station, put it uh, right out in front of the high school. Or we could go towards the soccer stadium a bit more. Hmm. The high school is going to be busy. But I think this would look nice on this side. Maybe we can run a couple of things off of it. A couple of roads. Uh, yeah, why don't we do that? Let's go into the bus roads and we'll just grab uh, a one-way. Let's start with the two-way just to plan it out a little bit. Run it in like that for the connection points. And then I think in order to upgrade this, we'll need... Why don't we make this uh, a bit larger then? I think that could work. Uh, let's just make sure that we have some dedicated turning lanes through here. There we go. And then right in here, we uh, should probably get um, just that. That works. Okay, we'll work on some of the lane maths off camera or something like that, but we definitely don't need street lights on here. Okay, but now let's just get that bus, uh, that bus uh, right in here, and I think that works out pretty nicely, actually. Um, we'll fill in the rest with concrete right through here, just to simplify things. And we could easily just do a couple of, uh, of trees through here. bit too big of a tree, isn't it? Why don't we delete every other tree and we'll go with the chestnut tree. Single. Just to kind of help mix it up a little bit. 
All right, and then I can pull all the buses into here. And uh, why don't we do that in a quick second? Uh, but right in here, hmm, this is tough. This is like I'm trying to figure out like what should be the transition place for this municipal airport. And you know, I think a park could probably just you know suffice. But uh, yeah, we really spent a lot of time doing this. So I think maybe next episode we'll also work over here. I have a, pl a stable plan for over here. We, we didn't get to that either. Um, I've already started trying to zone along here. We haven't really seen any growth. So yeah, definitely we kind of ran out of time today focusing on this kind of sports complex, which, you know, I don't mind. I, I really enjoyed the build. Um, but let's get some, some zoning going on before we think about anything else. And we'll get that elementary school in as well that we've been talking about. So let's just extend this road out. Let's look at the topography because I think that's going to be a bit of a limit for us here. Connect that up. We'll bring this out over into here. Yeah, so I think the theme kind of of this build is, you know, like a, like a new development. This is like a pretty new uh, development since Strathcona has kind of become a bit larger of a town than it previously was. Just get uh, let's get no connection points off of that actually, and what we'll do is we'll run this out like so. Oh, whoops, messed up the uh, connection there. Let's put topography back on because I really like building with the topography. There we go, that works, and we'll do something similar over here. There we go, some, you know, nice little cul-de-sacs. We could just connect these up, actually. I think that'd be pretty nice just to kind of eliminate the cul-de-sac kind of feel. Oh, darn. And then we could actually get a, like a true cul-de-sac in here because it's a bit more of a nicer uh, area. All right, so why don't we um, plan for some zoning through here? Let's take zoning off of this road and then again off of here. Definitely not going to get zoning on that road either, nor even that. Uh, not here. I don't plan on getting zoning through here either. Um, okay, so that should clean things up a little bit and then no zoning on that road or that road or this one or this one <laughs> Just uh, you know big suburbia So I'll fill all of this in I'm Just gonna pause the game while I do this because I don't want to mess anything up in case I need to call it back All right, and then we'll take off that we'll take off this. Let's take two off of here. There we go. Okay, and this leaves us lots of room to build some pedestrian paths and everything too, which is nice. Okay, and then like I said, we can get like a true cul-de-sac kind of feel right in here, which leads right up to the water, which would be nice. Uh, Maybe walking path we can get along the side here. This is gonna turn out into quite the nice, um, quite the nice little build here. All right, so we'll let that come in and let's get that uh, elementary school in here. So we got the high school already. So let's focus on the elementary school. Uh, I suppose it should be in a prime location. So where are we gonna expand this a bit farther into? Well, I, I guess we're going to have to stop it at some point, right? But I think the elementary school should be on this side. So let's look at extending out the suburbs a little bit more on this side because this side looks uh, too prime for development. Let's bring this out to about here. We'll connect up the larger roads. And then we'll bring this road through. 
this one through. And bring this one down. And then the same thing with this one. And then we can start getting some maybe a bit tighter kind of lines through here, or grids. So why don't we go with something like that. That works with me. Bring this one through. I can leave some of these smaller ones that a bit of a part uh, as like little parks. But I don't really mind. Um... Oh darn! Uh, I don't really mind uh, some of that that it's not exactly uniform either, because maybe you know they're trying to squeeze in as much as they can, right? All right, so let's maybe make this one the end. And then anything else beyond this point can be a bit more of a unique kind of style. It looks okay. It's not, again, it's not exact, right? Um, but that is, uh, that's all right with me. Um, oh my gosh, the time. Uh, let's go back to the topography here. So we do have some very buildable land uh, out over this, on this side. I suppose this should probably be developed. So why don't we... Bring this side out to about that. That works. And we can leave that off. Maybe we can get a bit of commercial through here. So let's go into our zoning adjuster. Take zoning off of that road. Just up to that point, really. That's all we really need it to be. And then right in here, I suppose this should be a bit of a faster road. So why don't we make it um, a bit of a four-lane connection but I, I didn't need to go into the highways um, I was just thinking fast road you know so let's upgrade that point right into there this whole road should probably be upgraded into a four-lane road seeing as what it's kind of become oh no all right I will fix that off camera oh my goodness I can't believe I did that all right, that works. I don't mind necessarily um, having this one just be a one lane. I can't see it being anything too crazy. It's just residential anyways. This might become a roundabout. That might be nice. Um, okay, so maybe let's make this middle one. We'll delete it. And we can make this one the elementary school. So we'll grab the elementary school and why don't we get a bit of a bump out I'll just go into the one U's uh, one U just like that right in the middle here something really simple just for you know the parents to drop their kids off just like that and then we'll get the school right in here just you know nice neat nice neat and centered and then we'll uh, since this is kind of like big um, let's go with the forestry fence you know big suburbs kind of vibe what we'll do is we'll have the okay this is the parking lot we can make the parking lot a bit bigger we can have a fence run right through here and this whole block will be kind of be the local little suburbs uh, elementary school that huge yard huge yard love it <laughs> um, and maybe let's get one of these in here hmm Uh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's delete that. And we're running out of time, so I'm just going to try and place one of these down. Just like that. And I think we have a smaller one. Let's place this right there like so. 
then I'll rotate it around. And there we go. So it's a bit more of a larger elementary school where everyone drives. And um, we could even be sneaky and get a couple of breaks in here in this fence that we just built and place um, uh, like a large park into it. Like so. And then we'll just grab the fences, or uh, I'm sorry, the, the paths here. Connect those two up, bring it right down. Bring this down like so. Bring this down and around. Something like that. That looks nice. All right, and then we'll just take our little, whoa, our little, <laughs> some trees and we'll just add them in right here. Just make it, a, spruce it up a little bit. Okay, okay, I like how this is turning out. Let's get some more commercial along here and then we'll turn zoning off of this road here. We'll create a bit of a path behind there, but we're out of time, so I think uh, I think we'll just end today's video by just you know zoning the rest of this area up, kind of showing what it's going to be like. Oh, whoops! I suppose we didn't take zoning off of that, did we? And you know, just massive suburb kind of vibes, and that's what I'm that's what I'm going for. I think maybe we can pretend that like, the city's planning eventually to, to, you know, potentially move up this hill. So we'll do that. But, you know, I think this should really take care of the zoning for a little while, especially in this area. We have a school. We have a bunch of, um, we have a high school. We have some sports complexes up through here. Uh, you know what? I totally forgot water. <laughs> we talked about it before, too. But, uh, you know, I, I like the, uh, the idea of getting some of these, like, larger suburbs um, and I think Strathcona was the right town to kind of attach this into because seeing as this is kind of like the original suburb of the area anyways it definitely would see some massive land value growth over the years and it even has some more room to grow we'll probably need to get another elementary school on this side um, yeah so let's throw it to three speed and we'll look at the buses next time so I guess we're not going to get to um, you know, more of the cottage country or the uh, nature reserve today. I was pretty ambitious and we can just stick out in Strathcona this week. Um, but I'm really pleased with how this is going to turn out. Uh, we might even need to think about getting that other interchange in like we were discussing ages ago uh, over on this side if things get too, too crazy. But yeah, next uh, next uh, episode, we'll do the stable. We'll look at kind of continuing around this lake, maybe making it a bit of a park um, and continuing. Maybe we'll try to Build like a look of like a uh, a growing suburb so maybe it's not exactly complete uh, but uh, you know we should probably make a district out over here and we'll look at that next time and I'll fix this up off camera but uh, let's take a quick peek at the land value because it should be seeing some green and yeah it sure is which is fantastic to see so that'll only improve with uh, time so off camera I'll pull the buses a bit farther in and we'll look at that next time because I haven't, haven't even showed you um, and we'll you know dive back into growing uh, the suburb of Strathcona so hope you have a lovely day folks um, hmm how should we do this I guess the the, the episode title is probably gonna be something about the sports I'm kind of play testing this at the moment so why don't we do something like like a this make sure we get the baseball diamond in there all right, have a lovely day, folks. Talk to you soon. Peace out.